From budgetary issues to release strategy, Kevin Costner's latest movie is looking like a recipe for disaster. Releasing in June 2024, Horizon, the American Saga, is going to determine the future of Costner in the Hollywood Western Hall of Fame. Will he make it? Or will this movie bite the dust like his previous Waterworld? Keep watching till the end to know every red flag this movie is raising before it hits the big screens. Horizon, the brainchild of Kevin. Aren't we all sad about Kevin Costner, a.k.a. John Dutton, leaving Yellowstone mid-finale? Well, it looks like he had some other pretty important plans of his own. The upcoming cinematic extravaganza, Horizon, an American Saga, is a new creation of Kevin Costner. Now, we all know he has been riding high on the Western wave, you know, with his Yellowstone gig and all. But before you jump to conclusions, this isn't just another run-of-the-mill cowboy saga. A natural question anyone may ask at this point would be, has Kevin even directed movies before? Well, yes. We'll get into that in a while. After all, he's the reigning king of modern westerns. He's starring in this film and also taking center stage as the director. And for any John Dutton fan, this may sound like a perfect recipe for success, but it's also a gamble of epic proportions. Fans are counting down the days till June 2024 when this movie's two parts will hit the big screen. But here's the thing. Despite all the hype, there's a dark cloud looming over this production. There are next to no plot details, and whatever little we know about this movie is not painting a pretty picture. Sure, we're all excited to see Costner back in his element, but let's not ignore the elephant in the room. This franchise has some big red flags. And about Kevin's experience as a director? Well, his debut flick, Dances with Wolves, did get seven Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director. However, despite all that success, Costner's been playing it coy on the directorial front. He has only directed two more films in over three decades since Dances with Wolves. That's a bit odd. Right now, Costner is putting all his directorial eggs in one basket with Horizon. And not to mention, he's also leaving behind the glory of Yellowstone because of it. Can you say it was a risky move? We mean, sure. We're all excited to see what he's going to come up with. But leaving behind such a beloved franchise? Won't you say that's like walking away from a winning streak at the blackjack table? Horizon will hit the theaters on June 28, 2024, with Chapter 2 hot on its heels, expected to drop on August 16, 2024. Will Costner hit the jackpot once again, or is he playing with fire? Let's explore some issues with this movie. From genre to release date, a risk unprecedented. With Horizon on the horizon, Hollywood's Wild West showdown has got a whole lot more interesting. Hear us out. We've all heard about Martin Scorsese's Killer of the Flower Moon, right? One heck of a movie with a killer performance from Leonardo DiCaprio. The movie is nominated for an Academy Award as well. Now, it was also a Western genre movie. With Horizon, it feels like the modern Western renaissance is upon us. Killers of the Flower Moon set the bar pretty high for anyone to come close. But that's not even the main problem. The issue is that Costner will be releasing his Horizon saga just a year after Martin's successful Western flick. And you know what'll happen. A comparison battle, and we're afraid Horizon might not live up to the expectations of people. However, there are some differences between both. Firstly, Costner's Horizon isn't playing second fiddle. It's aiming straight for the stars by channeling the spirit of John Wayne and Clint Eastwood classics. Yep, we're talking boots, spurs, and showdowns at high noon. Secondly, Horizon is also not just gunning for a one-off hit. Nope. Costner's laying the groundwork for what could very well be the next thing in Western cinema. In fact, it's riding on a wave of nostalgia and frontier grit taken from Yellowstone. While it's true that Killers of the Flower Moon may have Western vibes, Horizon is the real deal. However, it would have been much cooler if genre and competition were the only glaring red flags for this movie. Let's take a look at Horizon's release strategy, and we're telling you, it's raising more eyebrows than a bad hair day at the Oscars. Now, usually this kind of plan is reserved for TV series or streaming shows. But with Costner, it's all about shaking things up. Is this man releasing two feature films just a few months apart? Can someone turn Costner's ambition knob down? It's not that we're not eager for a double dose of Costner magic, but you've got to think of the audience. Will they be willing to bite? And here's the thing. If the first Horizon movie belly flops at the box office, can we really expect this sequel to ride in and save the day? 
Nope. That's way more risky than Kevin leaving Yellowstone. But hey, let's not rain on Costner's parade just yet. This could be his ticket to cinematic glory. It can be a bold move that pays off in spades. Guess we'll have to sit tight and see how this wild ride unfolds. However, not before we get several other risky moves out of our system. A literal gamble. Okay, let's talk big bucks here. Do you know what the film budget is for Horizon? A hundred million dollars. And that's just for starters. Yep, that's enough cash to make even Scrooge McDuck blush. Kevin is really stretching those dollars. In fact, Horizon 1 and 2 haven't even hit the big screen yet, and Costner's out there hustling for cash to fund the next chapters. However, since Costner's playing the long game, he's also trying to save a pretty penny on marketing by releasing both movies back-to-back. Will that be enough? Before we can even answer that question, here's another cold, hard truth. These movies need to rake in over $200 million at the box office just to break even. Yep, that's right. It's got to be double or nothing. But all of this is not even the most interesting part. These financial woes feel like deja vu, don't they? Do you remember Waterworld? That Titanic-sized adventure that sank just as it hit the screen. It had a budget ballooning to $175 million, and it barely managed to stay afloat. It only ranked in around $235 million worldwide. Factor in all those marketing dollars and you've got a recipe for financial disaster. Could Horizon be heading down a similar path? It is highly plausible. If those box office numbers don't start singing a sweeter tune, we might be looking at deja vu all over again. Here's hoping Costner's rolling the dice on a winner, cause a hundred mil is no small potatoes, folks. Other risky concerns. Let's dive a bit deeper into the heart of this $100 million gamble. First off, Let's talk about Costner's skin in the game. This man has everything riding on this. There's no safety net to fall back onto whatsoever. As the director and lead actor, he's not just calling the shots, he's literally bankrolling the whole thing. That's right, Horizon is self-financed and self-produced only by Costner. Talk about putting your money where your mouth is. So if this fails, it might be game over for Costner. Yet, here's where it gets more interesting. It's not that Kevin is gambling his fortune over something that's already pretty successful. Nope. Horizon isn't riding the coattails of some tried-and-true franchise. This franchise is an original property, blazing its own trail through the Wild West. Sure, recent Western remakes like True Grit and The Magnificent Seven had built-in brand recognition. But Horizon? It only has Costner star power and a killer premise to rely on if it wants to rope in those audiences. Plus. Horizon isn't even just your run-of-the-mill western. It's set in the middle of the American Civil War. And you know what that means. We're going to be diving headfirst into some heavy subjects like slavery and racism. So one wrong move, and you can say goodbye to making it big. The lingering questions still remain at large. Will Costner's bold vision and release strategy pay off, or will Horizon just get lost in the dust of Hollywood's graveyard? We can only wait, see, and hope for the best. What do you think? Will Horizon see the same level of success as other recent Western movies? Or will Kevin have to say goodbye to his dream and fortune? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates as we'll be following this saga closely. See you next time.